name is Olivia Taddeo. I am the digital strategist here at Bloom. And today I will be speaking to Ian, who is the VP CRM at Garage and Dynamite. Hi, Ian. Hi, Olivia. How are you? Thanks for having me today. Yes, of course. How's it going amidst COVID? Obviously a very uh, challenging time, very interesting, especially in the uh, retail sector, but, but it's going well, actually. Yeah, of course. And I would love actually maybe if you can give me a bit of a background on Group Dynamite and what the company is about and how, you know, we you've been shifting towards uh, really, you know, taking advantage of this whole COVID situation. Yeah, so actually it's uh, it's interesting. We actually celebrated our 45th birthday during COVID-19, which was obviously, uh, you know, somewhat of a somber experience, but still time to reflect on on the business. Um, so we're a Canadian retailer based in Montreal. We have uh, two brands, uh, two iconic brands in Canada, Garage and uh, Dynamite Clothing. Um, and we have about 400 stores across Canada and the United States. What was Dynamite's relationship with e-commerce before the crisis and how has it changed since then? Well, look, so we, we love digital. Um, we like to consider ourselves a digital um, retail uh, brand uh, and, and you know, really driving towards digital. But of course, with a you know, brick and mortar experience, connected brick and mortar experience, you know, to, to use a cliche word, omni-channel. So yeah, we did have a very strong digital presence. Um, and actually over the, you know, I joined the company about 12 months ago. So even prior to my joining, uh, a lot of great initiatives had been worked on. Um, and, and we were quite lucky in the sense that we were well prepared for this situation uh, in terms of a lot of the key projects that were already in the pipeline that couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, so, you know, launching, like, for example, yesterday in Canada, we launched PayBright, which is a buy now, uh, pay later solution, which obviously lets our customers get more of what she wants now and pay it off over the subsequent weeks, which, you know, at, at this point in time is a, you know, a fantastic uh, solution for our customers. You know, we just rebuilt our mobile app. Um, and one of the key things we've done in the last few months, which really, you know, it has really come to fruition is uh, what we call ship from store and endless aisle. So we have a large DC in Montreal where we used to traditionally ship our products from the DC, but we opened up uh, ship from store. So while the stores are closed, um, we've still been able to get access to some of the stores um, and keep that uh, inventory flowing and take some of the pressure off of the DC. Um, so, you know, we've, we've doubling down, if you like, on key initiatives. Um, but yes, our, uh, our existing programs and structures in place have really you know, helped us get through this uh, situation as best we can. Yeah, for sure. And it definitely sounds like this was a really quick and adaptable way in which you responded to the increase in e-commerce demands. Was there any other, you know, projects or initiatives that helped um, helped you pivot during this time or helped you uh, support the, the e-commerce business? Yeah. So, I mean, look, at the at the beginning, it was very much what we did is we split, we set up a daily exec uh, huddles. Uh, so literally every morning we had two 30 minute you know, meetings and we still have those meetings today and they ran seven days a week. Uh, and as it relates to e-com, we have a 30 minute meeting and we split into two teams, demand and supply. Um, so obviously I was you know, more focused on the demand side of things. Um, but before we started really driving the demand, we really had to get our supply and operations uh, in order because the whole process had changed again with the stores going down. Um, and we really wanted to maintain our SLAs, our service level agreements with customers. We felt if we could maintain and continue to ship stuff to the customer within a two to three day period, and we could pick up the phone and answer her questions, you give confidence to the customer that we're going to get her stuff to them in a fast and safe and secure manner, uh, then we, we could continue to grow the business. So the first sort of weeks were really around the supply and operational side. And there was a lot of work that went on with all of the stores and the DC and um, you know lots of planning around that and inventory allocation. And then from there, we went back to the demand side and said, okay, now how do we start to drive the demand? And what was really interesting is, you know, you would think, you know, um, you know, people are at home, they're worried about their jobs, but what we're seeing actually, we've got the right content out to our customers. So again, we had a, a whole marketing team focused on rethinking the content, making it more relevant, stay at home. We launched uh, some key channels like TikTok with you guys, with Bloom, 
So we're on TikTok now. We launched, I think, Pinterest, if I remember rightly, on Dynamite. And we really started to think differently about our paid media uh, strategy with a big focus on acquisition. So the great news for us is, you know, even during this difficult time, we've managed to attract not only, you know, our existing customers and continue to um you know, serve their needs, but we've we've also been able to attract new customers to to Garage and Dynamite, which has been fantastic. Yeah, I mean, the success is definitely there, and you've definitely shown that you can turn it around. And I know you talked about this or touched about it really briefly about how to re-involve the retail stores. So, you know, the customer experience in store has always been part of Dynamite's core strength. And as some of the stores are going to be reopening slowly in Quebec and the rest of Canada, how will they be impacted? What's going to happen? Yeah, so look, we're obviously so as thrilled as we are with the you know fantastic uh, e-com results. We're we're obviously more thrilled to start opening the stores again. So yeah, we do currently have twenty of our four hundred stores open, and and you know more stores are planned in the coming weeks. So you know our, our focus again is really on uh, making sure that the opening of the stores is a very branded and fun experience. Yes, of course we're going to make sure that it's secure and safe but you know really we just want our customers to be able to come in and enjoy you know shopping get away from you know the the stresses of COVID-19 and again be able to come and get away again in a very safe and secure environment both for our employees and our staff but again we've also taken this opportunity to rethink you know um you know the role of the store associate uh you know one might expect that traffic might be down um you know, over the next six to 12 months while this pandemic plays out. So how do you take that uh, lower traffic and increase your conversion, you know, to offset that? And we're also obviously looking at the relationship again between digital and brick and mortar to make sure that our store associates have access to, you know, all of our rich customer data. We have a fantastic loyalty program that we launched in 2017. We have over 2 million members and we actually just launched our CDP with Optimove, which is a uh, customer data platform. So we have all of this rich customer data. We know their shopping preferences, their sizes. We know what they, you know, what they've been browsing on the internet. Um, and so we want to be able to give this information to the associates through clienteling, through an application where they can better serve the customer's needs. They could reach out, text, email, call the client and start to look at things like um, booking an appointment. So, you know, you could find a time to come into the store again, where, where you know, and have your own kind of personalized shopping experience again in a you know safe and secure manner and, and start to really deepen our relationships between, you know, we have great relationships between our customers, the product and the brand. We see our store associates being a, an extension and a level evolution of that brand experience. So we're really looking to connect that experience between the customer and the associate in a meaningful way. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you again so much for taking the time and chatting with me today. It's been wonderful uh, talking with you and I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to seeing uh, what Dynamite and the GDI group uh, comes up with next during this period. Yeah, look, and I just, while I'm here, I just want a big shout out to the team Bloom. You guys have been uh, good partners now for the last, you know, almost a year and a big part of our success, you know, over the last few months is we've you know really started to improve our, um, offerings on you know through paid media and organic and seo so big thank you to your team i know we're keeping you guys busy but we really appreciate it um and uh, we look forward to continue to work with you guys awesome all right thanks so much ian cool take care bye olivia